viewers, you're watching iAfrica TV and I'm Sky Gaege. On the headlines this hour, Africa's first homegrown platform for legal music downloads recently launched in Senegal with a mission to promote African artists, pay them properly and fight internet piracy. In an interview with iAfrica, Mustafa Job, the project developer, confirmed the Music We Have signed agreement with almost 200 musicians, including Kumba Gaolo, along with young rappers, jazz artists, Christian and Muslim vocalists. He was, however, quick to rectify the Western media, which has earlier reported Yusundur and Baba Ma to have been part of the deal. The platform draws its name from the word music in Wolof, the language widely spoken in Senegal and neighboring Gambia. Nigeria's ex-interior minister has been charged with fraud over a bouch recruitment drive, which resulted in stampedes that left 20 people dead. Aba Moro led a scheme which encouraged young graduates to apply for jobs in the Immigration Ministry in March 2014. Stadiums which were being used as test centers were overwhelmed by huge crowds of people turning up to apply. Mr. Moro has pleaded not guilty to his role in an alleged $2.5 million fraud involving missing application fees. There is a high level of unemployment in Nigeria, especially among young people. Presidential elections in Austria are scheduled for April 24th. At least four parties are expected to take part in the elections. Heinz Fischer, the incumbent president of Austria, has been in office since July 2004. If Austrians fail to elect a new president during the first round, the second round will be held on May 22nd, according to a statement from the ministerial council. Macedonian police have fired tear gas at a crowd of migrants who destroyed a barbed wire fence on the Greek border using a makeshift battering ram. TV footage showed migrants pushing against the fence at Indermin in Greece, ripping away barbed wire. A section of fence was smashed open with a metal signpost. It is unclear if any migrants crossed the border about, about 700 people are stuck on the Greek side of the border, as Macedonia is letting very few in. Many have been camping in squalid conditions for a week or more with little or no medical help. Most of those trying to reach Northern Europe are Syrian and Iraqi refugees. The chaos on Monday erupted as hundreds of people pushed their way past Greek police shouting, open the border, to reach the gate used to let trains through at the border crossing. Some threw stones at Macedonia riot police. At the 88th Academy Awards Spotlight, the film about the Boston Globe's investigation into press abuse won for Best Picture. Leonardo DiCaprio, heavily favored to win for lead actor, was not disappointed in the, his fifth chance to take home an Oscar for acting. His director Alejandro G. Iratu had just gotten his second directing win in a row for The Revenant. The film came into the night with the most nominations at 12 and 1-3. Overall, Mad Max Fury Road has the most bragging rights with six statuettes from ten knots in total. The major upset of the evening was Sylvester Stallone's loss to Mark Rylance of Bridge of Spice for supporting actor. That was all we have for you in this edition of the Headlines this hour. For more on these and other exciting programs, log on to iAfrica.tv. I'm Sukai, and bye for now.